Either way, man, I'm good. Uh, let's do some torture tests, shall we? All right, yeah. Uh, all Tom right. Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> so first off let me let me talk about uh our build quality tests here at the Poblographer. um i developed these a while ago just because of the fact that like all these manufacturers were saying oh yeah it's weather weatherproof and water resistant and all that other stuff and i was like hmm you know let's let's see just how much this can actually resist so it started out with me working with olympus uh and Pentax and saying like, hey, can I take your camera and can I run it under a faucet for like 10 minutes? And they were like, yeah, sure. We do that in demos all the time. We just take a bottle and we just do this. And I was like, okay. And apparently that made the rounds uh, at Olympus higher ups, like all the way up to Japan. And they were like, we love this. This is awesome. So I was <laughs> like, okay, let me try doing this with other brands. So I did it with Sony and uh, the A7S did not fare well with this, and I had to put it in rice for like oh, a day, and it still didn't really work. And they were like, please don't show that. And I was like, all right, you know what, just to save a relationship, I'll do that. So after that, I, I retired the faucet test for the most part. But I still do weather feeling tests, and I was like, you know, I'm going to take this out in the rain, I'm going to use it there, I'm going to take it out in snow. And that's resulted in us doing a lot of sort of cringeworthy things and crazy tests. I'm going to bring up a couple photos from uh, some of these tests that we do. Um, it, they're standardized for us. I don't really see a lot of other publishers or YouTubers doing that because they'll sit there and they'll be like, oh, well, no one's going to do this. And I'm like, no, you're actually wrong. People will totally do this. So now I'm going to bring these up. Uh, I'm going to share the screen. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. Uh, can you guys see this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. You see a Fujifilm 16 millimeter over there? Yes, sir. Okay. This is the Fujifilm 16 millimeter F2.8 uh, RWR lens. And as you see, uh, it's with the X-H1. There's a lot of rain on there, but I borrowed it in and I'm like, yeah, I'll show this off. This is the Nikon 24 millimeter F1.8. Oh, it was uh, pouring that day. If this was during Chinese New Year, it was pouring. And not only that, there was also a little bit of hail and it was super cold. Yeah. And Paul and I were shooting five hours? Six uh, hours? Yeah, to the point where my jacket got soaked through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and these cameras resisted that. Um, now, when we're doing this, we close up all the ports. We usually have like a hot shoe cover on, usually. And we make sure that both the camera and the body uh, and the lens body are both weather resistant or uh, weather sealed or splash proof or whatever they want to say. This is the 85. I decided, hey, you know what? Let me do this for a product shot. This was probably one of our crazier tests. Um, me, Paul, and Dan Havlick from Shutterbug, we decided we'd go out and we'd do like a pizza tour. And it ended up snowing like crazy. And yeah. I was like, hmm, you know, this Sigma 2814, they're saying it's really weather resistant. So that is the 2418 mounted to the Canon EOS R adapter that is also pretty weather sealed and weather resistant. And that's the EOS R. The EOS R is genuinely, and all three of us have them right now, this thing is a tank. Um, and Paul and Brett can both attest to this. Like, this thing can resist so much weather, like, thrown at it. It's insane. This is uh, one of the crazier tests we did. That's the 135.18 for Sony. And um, Paul ran it under a water fountain. Uh, uh, waterfall. Waterfall, rather. And it kept working even i cringe at this one i was like should we do this yeah go uh, hard go home man <laughs> yeah man this is more of those tamron's lenses like tamron is genuinely impressive to me because almost everything is very weather sealed and in addition to that they're super affordable and they're very small and this was the same day that paul and i were shooting with that nikon 2418 and like this thing just like all three of those lenses resisted the weather no problems. 
And yeah, so those are those. And we're going to do a little bit of a torture test here. I have water over here. I hear you guys laughing. I see your faces. I thought you were going to pour chai on it. <laughs> no, I'm done with all my chai. I'm done with all my chai. But this is a pan that I decided I would use to uh, catch moisture. Moisture. And um, we're going to do some crazy things right now. And I'm going to show you and prove you guys that these things still work. Oh, this, is the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the OMD EM1 Mark III that I've got here. And uh, I'm going to open this up first a little bit. And, yeah, yeah bring, that, bring the pan up. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to see it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a little bit of water on it. Ooh. Actually, I should probably do that for the camera, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. My pants are going to get so soaked. <laughs> oh, man. But it's still working, right? I'm going to do this. Do that again. Oh, right. I'm on a very long shutter speed right now. Let me, let me, let me stop that. So, oh, I'm still at 60 seconds. Oh, man. <laughs> it's working at least, though. So now I'm going to... Are you, are you that... taking a live comp of the water being poured on it? Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, so 40 seconds, right? I'm going to tap my face. Is touch on? No, touch is not on. Yeah. Tap my face. Okay. Where is it? Oh, no, touch was off. Great. Right. Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So, oh, I don't have it even... Oh, it's because I'm sorry AF. Either way, it still works. Totally fine. You can hear that? I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works. So Olympus is fine. Um, I think we've all known this. They're pretty fantastic. They're stupidly well weather sealed. I've done some insane things to the predecessors of these. So if the brand new one is working fine, then it should be fine. So that's Olympus. Um, now I've got the Fujifilm X-H1 honking sucker. And uh, just again, this is we're doing this with weather resistant lenses as well too, or weather sealed or uh, any moniker that they want to call it. This is using the 16 f 1.4. All of my seals are closed. Um, that was using the 17 to 14, no 7 to 14 f 2.8. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a lot of people cringe. Uh, I'm gonna get off of, out of ISO auto because blasphemy. And um, all right, here we go. All right, and it still works. Uh, let me see if I can prove that to you guys. <laughs> it still works, right? You guys saw that? Yep. All right, cool. Fujifilm is fine. Um, Again, you want to use a weather-resistant lens and camera. I don't know where I'm going to put all these wet cameras. Oh, man, I should have thought this through a little bit more. Whatever. <laughs> well, just like in the real world, you don't get to plan for rain as much as you think. Exactly. Yep. Nor do my pants. <laughs> um, all right. Don't stand up. Do not stand up. I, I am not going to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the world does not need that screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Canon, uh, this is the R5? Yeah, EOS R5. Uh, my own personal 50 millimeter F1.2, right? We're gonna, we're gonna do this, all right. Uh, I'm gonna switch out of live view. What am I doing right now? Oh, it's in manual focus, I gotcha. And I'm gonna switch this to, uh, the AF mode is going to be on my face because reasons, and I'm going to put this in aperture priority or amateur priority, as I like to call it. <laughs> and uh, you guys can see this as I do this. All right, ready? Canon. Woo That's cold. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So this is kind of close to me, but... Uh, I can hear that. that. That's a wonderful smile right there. <laughs> that 
that's a keeper right there, man. That's a new Facebook profile picture right there. Exactly. All the grays in my beard that you were talking about before. <laughs> Just white balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me let me try my other thermos because I have an actual like water bottle that I use as well too. Uh, it's a little bit more concentrated, so we're gonna see. All right, this is Nikon. Have there been any comments about this? No, there haven't. Probably on our Facebook page. I don't know. Okay, so Nikon is on. Nikon is working. Uh, I'm going to change the aperture. I'm going to from watching this. <laughs> I can imagine people like Chris. What are you doing right now? All right, Nikon test. Here we go. Okay. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, display, there we go. All right, we're gonna do this. Still worked, right? Mm-hmm. No problems. Actually, I like the Nikon better than I like the Canon, which is crazy, because the Canon lens is like a gajillion dollars, and the Nikon okay. lens is like <laughs> 300. I don't know. It was like a factor of eight. <laughs> exactly, right? Uh, let me unplug my Panasonic very quickly because it was charging. I say my Panasonic like I actually own it. I do not. Uh, just to let you guys also know, maybe it's a good time for me to talk about this. A lot of the gear that we use, it's either our personal gear or it's on loan or to us. And I say loan and actually mean we do return them. Um, we're pretty big about ethics and all that stuff. So Panasonic, you are on. Okay, Panasonic is on. I have not worked with a Panasonic in forever. Oh, man. Okay, all right, all right. We got this. We got this. All right. The pen. Get the pen. We're going to have so many downvotes on YouTube. Oh, Panasonic? Panasonic. A Lumix. <laughs> All those guys that were like, hey, why don't you ever review the G95? Eh, why don't you ever review the G95? Guy, eh. Sorry. I'm going a little, <laughs> little toxic. Whatever. It's all right. Oh, man, there's so much water in my pants. <laughs> all right. Panasonic. Still working, right? No problems at all. Okay, and now Sony. The one that I'm actually probably the most scared about, legitimately. Their uh, their weather sealing isn't always the best. Which body are you testing it with? A seven R three. Are you with good? with the thirty five one eight? Yeah, I know it'll be fine. Um, just to also let you guys know that uh, that Panasonic was the Panasonic S one R. No, that's the S one with the twenty four to seventy on it. Okay, Sony, let's do this. Let's do this. I will do this. Change my settings very quickly. All right, all right, all right. Woohoo! Ah, you guys are Sony fanboys. I'm on the internet. I know everything about you. All right. All right. It's properly wet. Now, uh,. Okay. And it still worked, right? Yep. No problems. Still working. So, yeah. Ooh, it's getting uh it's getting an error. Oh man. Really? Yeah, it actually is. It was saying accessory is not supported by device and cannot be used. Please verify the compatibility with the device. Accessory? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. None. You have first party battery? Yeah. I only use first party stuff. Interesting. Eh, we'll see what happens. This A7R3 has been through a lot, but either way, I can also attest to the fact that, like, yes, we are doing a crazy torture test. Sort of like uh, shooting with a camera at 4K 60p for a half hour um, for no good reason. And uh, yeah, it's, um, but it's, will it work? Yeah, I'm not having any problems. Actually, yeah, as soon as I went to go shoot, perfectly fine. Hmm, I wonder what that was. You might have to clean your contacts. 
Maybe. Oh, it's it's bringing it up again. Whatever. Either way, okay. That point was to show you, besides the fact that I got my pants wet for you guys, um, <laughs> that these cameras are actually very, very durable and able to take a lot. You just have to make sure to read the labels on, one, the cameras, two, the lenses, and also still exercise common sense. Like, close all the ports, ideally have, like, a hot shoe cover in. I don't usually do that, and actually a lot of camera companies really do seal the hot shoes up very well. Um, and yeah, once again, exercise common sense. I wouldn't to sit there and, like, totally dunk the thing in water. It's not designed to do that. Uh, but it will take a bit of abuse. Um, much better than my pants did. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, any questions? Anything? Doesn't seem like any? Yeah, no. So that's the end of my segment. <laughs>